About 40 million Americans suffer from seasonal allergies, and this spring they're getting hit with a perfect storm of misery. Here's Dr. John LaPook. Just when everyone was done suffering through an awful winter, the late arrival of spring has brought a new misery. Its name etched in, well, pollen. Adriana Gutierrez suffers from allergies every spring, but today was so bad she called in sick and went to the doctor for a skin test. Okay, not too bad. As you see, I'm very stuffy and my eyes and my skin is developing all these rashes right now. So really, trees are the main allergen for you, okay? This is what Allergist Dr. Cassia Charlot says it's been an especially bad week. We are seeing both patients who've had allergies previously, but never have had such severe allergy symptoms as they are experiencing now. And we are also seeing patients who are developing allergies for the very first time. Across the Northeast and in parts of the Midwest, tree pollen levels have been very high. Some of the worst cities include Burlington, Vermont, Buffalo, New York, and Cleveland, Ohio. Guy Robinson is a certified pollen counter for a National Allergy Academy and says any level over 90 is elevated. What was the most recent pollen count that you measured? Most recent one here was probably just over 2,000 per meter. Per is that high? Meter. What give us a yeah, sense? Yeah, that's considered very high. Anything over 1,500 is very high. One doctor said this year we're going to have a pollen tsunami. Now, is this a particularly bad year, or is, do people just forget how bad it was last year? I think, yeah, the latter. The, people forget the first week in May is usually the worst time of the year for, for most people who are going to have allergies. One tip for people suffering from pollen allergy, when you get home, take a shower and be sure to wash your hair. Otherwise, invisible pollen can keep sprinkling down. And Scott, don't wait too long to seek help. Medications often work best when given before symptoms get too severe. Dr. John LaPook, thanks, Doc.